Okay, good afternoon. Thank you very much for listening. Once again, I am creating a glossary of electronics terms. More specifically, I will be covering diodes and diode applications. Okay, first definition and Okay, before I even get into that, if you're looking for the definitions, I will leave that in the comments. I'll probably pin it to the top of the video. The description doesn't allow for enough information, so check out the comments. First comment on this video. It'll have all the definitions there. And otherwise, I've just taken everything from Google searches anyway. Okay, half-wave rectifier circuit. Half-wave rectification. A rectifier is a circuit which converts the alternating current, AC, input power into a direct current, DC, output power. The input power supply may be either a single phase or a multi-phase supply with the simplest of all the rectifier circuits being that of the halfway rectifier. Galena. Galena also called lead glance, is the natural mineral form of lead to sulfide. It is the most important ore of lead and an important source of silver. Galena is one of the most abundant and widely distributed sulfide minerals. Amplitude modulated. Amplitude modulation, AM, like AM radio, is a modulation technique used in electronic communication, most commonly for transmitting information via a radio carrier wave. In amplitude modulation, the amplitude, signal strength, of the carrier wave is varied in proportion to that of the message signal being transmitted. Crystal set. A crystal radio receiver, also called a crystal set, is a simple radio receiver popular in the early days of radio. It uses only the power of the received radio signal to produce sound, needing no external power. It is named for its most important component, a crystal detector. It originally made from a piece of crystalline mineral such as galena. The component is now called a diode. Tuning capacitor. A variable capacitor is a capacitor whose capacitance may be intentionally and repeatedly changed mechanically or electronically. Variable capacitors are often used in LC circuits to set the resonance frequency, example, to tune a radio. Therefore, it is sometimes called a tuning capacitor or tuning condenser, or as a variable reactance, example, for impedance matching in antenna tuners long wire antenna. A random wire antenna is a radio antenna consisting of a long wire suspended above the ground whose length does not bear a relation to the wavelength of the radio waves used, but is typically chosen more for convenience. Shunt capacitor. In electronics, a shunt is a device which creates a low resistance path for electric current to allow it to pass around another point in the circuit. The origin of the term is in the verb to shunt, meaning to turn away or follow a different path. Axial leads. The axial lead style resistors are resistors that have leads that extend out horizontally from the body. And capacitors can be in that style too. And perhaps other discrete components. Next definition, frequency multiplication. In electronics, a frequency multiplier is an electronic circuit that generates an output signal whose output frequency is a harmonic of its input frequency. Frequency multipliers consist of a nonlinear circuit that distorts the input signal and consequently generates harmonics of the input signal. Nonlinearity. Nonlinear distortion is a term used 
in fields such as electronics, audio, and telecommunications to describe the phenomenon of nonlinear relationship between the input and output signals of, for example, an electronic device. Harmonics in electronics. Harmonics is the generalized term used to, used to describe the distortion of a sinusoidal waveform by waveforms of different frequencies. Then whatever its shape, a complex waveform can be split up mathematically into its individual components called the fundamental frequency and a number of harmonic frequencies. Linear, that's the word, linear in electronics. A linear circuit is an electronic circuit in which for a sinusoidal input voltage of frequency F any steady state output of circuit, the current through any component, or the voltage being, or the voltage between any two points, is also sinusoidal with frequency f. Note that the output need not be in phase with the input. Signal mixing in electronics. In electronics, a mixer or frequency mixer is a nonlinear electrical circuit that creates new frequencies from two signals applied to it. Mixers are widely used to shift signals from one frequency range to another, a process known as heterodyning, for convenience in transmission of further signal processing. Beat frequencies. In acoustics, a beat is an interference pattern between two sounds of slightly different frequencies, perceived as a periodic variation in volume whose rate is the difference of the two frequencies. Heterodynes. A heterodyne is a circuit that transfers a signal from one carrier wave to another with a different frequency. It mixes the input signal with a wave generated by an oscillator to create two new signals called beats. Mixer circuit. I covered that already when I read about signal mixing, so see above for signal mixing. Frequency domain. In electronics, control, in electronics, control systems engineering and statistics, the frequency domain refers to the analysis of mathematical functions or signals with respect to frequency rather than time. Next definition, spectrum analyzer. A spectrum analyzer is a device that displays signal amplitude or strength as it varies by signal frequency. The frequency appears on the horizontal axis and the amplitude is displayed on the vertical axis. Time domain display. Time domain is the analysis of mathematical functions, physical signals, or time series of economic or environmental data with respect to time. In the time domain, the signal or function's value is known for all real numbers, for the case of continuous time, or at various separate instants in the case of discrete time. Intrinsic semiconductor. An intrinsic pure semiconductor, also called an undoped semiconductor, or I-type semiconductor, is a pure semiconductor without any significant dopant species present. The number of charge carriers is therefore determined by the properties of the material instead of the amount of impurities. Pin diode, or PIN diode. A PIN diode is a diode with a wide, undoped, intrinsic semiconductor region between a P-type semiconductor and an N-type semiconductor region. The P-type and N-type regions are typically heavy, heavily doped because they are used for ohmic contacts. RF detector. An RF probe, or RF detector, is a test device to detect radio frequency oscillation in electronics circuits. Voltage regulation. 
The voltage regulation of the transformer is the percentage change in the output voltage from no load to full load. And, since power factor is a determining factor in the secondary voltage, power factor influence voltage regulation. This means the voltage regulation of a transformer is a dynamic, load-dependent number. Amplitude limiting. In electronics, a limiter is a circuit that allows signals below a specified input power or level to pass unaffected while attenuating, lowering, the peaks of stronger signals that exceed this threshold. Limiting is a type of dynamic range compression. Clipping is an extreme version of limiting. Voltage drop. Voltage drop is defined as the amount of voltage loss that occurs through all or part of a circuit due to impedance. A common analogy used to explain voltage, current, and voltage drop is a garden hose. Voltage is analogous to the water pressure supplied to the hose. Constant voltage drop model. I couldn't find a definition for this, but there are lots of videos and websites explaining this, and I have yet to check it out. So that's a note to self to look into that. Distortion in electronics. This is undesired change in an electric signal waveform as it passes from the input to the output of some system or device. In an audio system, distortion results in poor reproduction of recorded or transmitted sound. Frequency control. Frequency control is a process to maintain stability in the power system. In power systems, when the load is more than the supplying power, the frequency in the system will drop. VCO, or voltage controlled oscillator. A voltage controlled oscillator is an electronic oscillator whose oscillation frequency is controlled by a voltage input. The applied input voltage determines the instantaneous oscillation frequency. Next definition, LC circuit. Oscillation. An electronic oscillator is an electronic circuit that provides a periodic oscillating electronic signal, often a sine wave or a square wave. Oscillators convert direct current, DC, from a power supply to an alternating current AC signal. Gun diode. A gun diode, also known as a transferred electron device, TED or a TED, is a form of diode, a two terminal passive semiconductor electronic component with negative resistance, used in high frequency electronics. It is based on the gun effect discovered in 1962 by physicist J.B. Gunn. Impat diode. An impat diode, IM packed ionization avalanche transit time diode, is a form of high power semiconductor diode used in high frequency microwave electronic devices. They have negative resistance and are used as oscillators and amplifiers at microwave frequencies. Tunnel diode. Asaki diode. A tunnel diode or Asaki diode is a type of semiconductor diode that has negative resistance due to the quantum mechanical effect called tunneling. It was invented in August 1957 by Leo Asaki which is a Japanese name. And that company, with some of the other gentlemen that designed that, maybe women, I don't know, is now called Sony. Negative resistance. In electronics, negative resistance, NR, is a property of some electrical 
circuits, and devices in which an increase in voltage across the device's terminals results in a decrease in electric current through it. Gun Plexer The Gun Plexer system is a combination of a microwave oscillator based on the gun diode with a mixer, a shot key diode. In the Gun Plexer, operating at 10 GHz and at higher frequencies, the entire microwave system is embedded in a waveguide and the antenna, usually horn type, completes the system. Saturation in electronics refers to maximum beyond which the system becomes, becomes unstable if a device re reaches its maximum voltage when a certain amount of current is gives as input then the amount of current is known as saturation current and for voltage it's vice versa that's poorly written laser diodes a laser diode injection laser diode an ILD or diode laser is a semiconductor device similar to a light emitting diode in which the laser beam is created and the diodes junction at the diodes junction. Laser diodes can directly convert electrical energy into light. Coherent radiation. Electromagnetic radiation in which two or more sets of waves have a constant phase relationship, i.e. with peaks and troughs always similarly spaced. Photosensitive diode. Photosensitive diode module. And that's actually a little uh, module that looks like it can be hooked up to a microcontroller. And that tends to be what came up upon having looked this up on a Google search. So I actually just took the definition for this photosensitive diode module and included it here. Photosensitive diode module is the most sensitive for environmental light intensity generally used for detecting the ambient brightness and intensity. In most of the cases with photosensitive resistance, sensor module universal, it is difference that is the photosensitive diode module directional well and can sense the fixed direction of light source. Silicon photodiodes. A silicon photodiode is a semiconductor device that converts light into an electrical current. The current is generated when photons are absorbed in the photodiode. Photodiodes may contain optical filters, built-in lenses, and may have large or small surface areas. Infrared. Infrared radiation, sometimes referred to simply as infrared, is a region of the electromagnetic radiation spectrum where wavelengths range from about 700 nanometers to 1 millimeter. Infrared waves are longer than those of visible light, but shorter than those of radio waves. AC coupling. AC coupling is useful because the DC component of a signal acts as a voltage offset, and removing it from the signal can increase the resolution of signal measurements. AC coupling is also known as capacitive coupling, DC coupling allows both AC and DC signals to pass through a connection. Photovoltaic. Photovoltaics are best known as a method for generating electric power by using solar cells to convert energy from the sun into a flow of electrons by the photovoltaic effect. Solar cells produce direct current electricity from sunlight which can be used to power equipment or to recharge a battery.